How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is this Craftsman uh, push mower and the problem that we're having with it is it's leaking fuel from the carburetor. So let's dive into it, see uh, what's wrong with it and I'll show you how to fix it. So once again, thanks again for uh, joining me guys. Um, like I was saying, this uh, mower came into me. It has a, a substantial fuel leaking problem from the carburetor area. I got it for free, a free pickup. But uh, right now I just have the fuel line pinched off with some pliers. I'm going to uh, unpinch these pliers and show you uh, how substantial this leak actually is. We'll take a look underneath where the float bowl is. Alright, so it's not leaking as much as it was before. Um, I just saw a couple trickles here, but watch right here on the float bowl when I actually move this um, mower back and forth. And you can kind of see it spilling out there. All right, so we've got some sealing issues probably on this float bowl, it would be my guess, but uh, we'll tear into it and see what's going on. All right, guys, so I got you up on my uh, lawnmower lift here, and uh, we're going to dive into this. So first thing we're going to do is uh, take off these three 5 sixteenths. Uh, I'm going to take this one off the top here as well. A little more room, a little more access to see what we're doing here. So this comes off the back. It's got a breather tube right here. And usually there's a gasket here, or you can see it's here. It looks like it's a little bit tore up, but um, doesn't look too bad actually. But you can still see that there's a little bit of dripping going on here, even after I have this fuel line pinched off. So what we're going to have to do is take this carburetor off and uh, see where it's leaking from. Now what I suspect is the bowl gasket that goes between this bowl and the carb base. You can see here now it's just leaking profusely but it shouldn't leak any more than what fuel is in it. Oh look at this. I think we might might have found the problem. This could be a quick and easy fix, guys. Somebody's obviously been into this. That bowl nut on the bottom here. I'll take it all the way off. I'll show you. The bowl nut is completely loose. I'm just loosening this off by my hand. So now I'm still going to take the carburetor apart as part of just my normal service before I sell these. But I'm a little leery about what I'm going to find here if somebody's already been in this thing. Now I have had it running. I actually did have it running even with the leak. Here's that bowl nut I'm talking about. Here's the inside of the bowl. Look at all the dirt and gunk in there. Now, if your a carburetor is running rough, this is probably your culprit on this style of carburetor. There's a uh, this is the main jet as well as the bowl nut, and there's two holes, one on each side. That's a passageway that sucks up the fuel, and then it comes up and through this main hole and shoots it up through this area of the carburetor into the throat of the carburetor and mixes with the air coming in here. So, if you're having problems with your carburetor, not or, uh, or your, your motor not starting, or it's running rough, check this first. I can see, looks like it's pretty clear. I mean, obviously it was running, but I'm just curious to know why they had that float bowl off, the bowl nut, and well, here's Maybe part of the reason, maybe it was leaking already, but 
this gasket I was talking about is actually just disintegrating into pieces. So it's definitely going to need a new bowl gasket, guys. But, I mean, that might cost me a few dollars. I got this thing for free. If that's the only problem that we're going to have with it, minus the fact that I'm just going to clean it up and uh, do some general maintenance. I know one of the wheels is a bit bent or wonky. But, I mean, for a couple hours of my time and a couple dollars and then change the oil another couple dollars for five bucks into it. I'll, uh, if I can find a bag for it, I'll be able to sell this thing for 140 bucks here uh, right now in the heart of the springtime. So anyways guys, um, that seems to be our issue and uh, I'm going to replace that bowl gasket and uh, show you hopefully that it's not leaking anymore. Another issue you could be having, two other issues. Uh, one is your float has gone bad, uh, meaning you've got a pinhole in it. So what happens is uh, you get some fuel inside of this float and it never floats to shut off the fuel because that's how this uh, system works. Fuel comes in from the tank, fills up this bowl and then actually fills it up and then just like the back of your toilet when it gets full this float gets up there and shuts off the fuel. So if this is full of fuel then it won't be able to float and it just stays there wide open all the time and you're most likely going to get fuel leaking out of the uh, intake area uh, or because the fuel is coming up constantly in through here so depending maybe the mower slanted slightly that way the fuel will then drip into your engine and uh, most likely you're going to see it mixing with the oil so if you take your oil cap off and you smell the oil if it's overfilled and it smells like gasoline. Uh, the problem is, is this, uh, this is not seeding and shutting off the fuel. So if it's not shutting off the fuel, it's two reasons. One, it's this float. The other one is underneath here, there is a needle valve with a rubber tip on it. And sometimes that rubber tip becomes deformed and it doesn't shut off, it doesn't seat properly in its, in, its, in its mounting place to shut off the fuel. So fuel is constantly coming in and then it overflows. Okay, so those are your three main culprits for fuel leaking. Bad bowl gasket, bad float, or a bad needle and seat combination. Okay, so uh, I'll tear into this carburetor, I'll replace this first to see if that fixes our problem and then we'll uh, hopefully go from there. So guys I have lots of videos on, or a couple of videos anyways on how to clean uh, one of these Briggs style carburetors. I'll put a link up here in the uh, top corner. Alright guys, so I got the carb off. The next thing I want to do is uh, test the needle and seat which is under this particular area. Okay, and the way I do it is I have a tool here, a, a vacuum and pressure gauge that I just hook up to the inlet where the fuel comes in and then I pump up the pressure a little bit and see if the pressure maintains or it starts to drop okay if the pressure starts to drop that means that the needle and seat or the needle valve is not seating properly so you can see on the gauge here I got about 7 psi and it's holding steady it's not dropping if it was dropping it would be very apparent you can see there I'm just opening it up manually but it would drop off like that and it wouldn't hold pressure but this one I pump it up and it actually holds pressure pretty good so I know my fuel leaking problem is not the needle and seat okay if you don't have one of these I guess the way I used to do it was I would just actually put my lips on here and I would blow and if it you could hear if you could hear air leaking and escaping through the needle and seat area then you know that this is bad um, if you blow on here and you don't hear anything usually that's pretty good but that's very rudimentary and uh, it doesn't work a hundred percent of the time it will show you very large leaks but um, smaller leaks it wouldn't show you okay so i just took out the uh, float pin 
I'll take the float off next and I'll show you the needle. And this is the, this one actually is not rubber tipped. Some of them are rubber tipped. Okay. So this one is actually a, just a straight um, metal tip. And the rubber part, and you're not going to be able to see this on the video, is right down in, inside here. Okay. So if that doesn't make a good seal with this, then the fuel coming in through here is going to constantly be coming in here. This would be upside down, but it'll constantly coming in through this area right there and filling up this whole bowl and then eventually going out through this tube and maybe out out the front here or out the back side and into the motor okay so the needle and seat we know is good so the seat is good the last thing you do is uh, to check your float is just shake it and if you can hear any fuel in there then you know that this is bad and you'll have to replace this part i don't see these plastic ones failing very often tecumseh makes uh, metal ones uh, they're brass i think or brass plated or something like that sometimes the seals um, on those um, actually will go bad uh, the seams i should say not the seals the seams and it'll take on uh, fuel and then it won't work properly but i, I don't think i've ever had a, a plastic one actually go bad so it had to have been our problem had to have been this this gasket which as you can see is just it's in pieces now so I'm gonna clean this whole thing up and then we're gonna put a new gasket on here and put it all back together and I'll test fire it and see if it uh, if it leaks again Alright guys, so I got everything back together, the carbs all back on, the fuel lines on, I haven't put the clamp on yet, but uh, I'm just ready to release the fuel line clamp here, allow fuel now to enter through that needle and seat, fill up this bowl until the float comes up and shuts off that fuel. First I, wanna, I also want to make sure that I've got enough fuel in here. Looks like there's some in there, not very much, but enough for us to do this test. And hopefully, after a couple of minutes here, we'll be nice and dry. Alright guys, it's been 3-4 uh, minutes now, and clean as a whistle. I'll even kind of shake it around a little bit. Kind of do the same thing I was doing before, trying to make it leak. And as you can see, uh, there's no leaks so hopefully this video is informative and it might help one of you guys out uh, or you know hopefully multiple people out and uh, if you like the content hit the like button and if you're not already a subscriber I'd really appreciate uh, the sub there you can uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and each and every uh, week I publish a video just like this one, you will be notified. So thanks for, again for joining me, and uh, until the next video, take care.